Hi, and welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Salerno 43 by Mark Simonich and GMT Games. Uh, this is a smaller uh, game, I believe. It's not quite as uh, as massive, but uh, um, it is medium um, difficulty, medium solo uh, friendly, but from what I understand, the series is very solo friendly, playing true solo, handling both sides for yourself. So let's crack it open, see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe oh, and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so in the box, um, well, well, we'll see in a second here, but uh, it's a very thin box and it contains a paper map for those that like prefer a paper map. They do sell a um, upgrade uh, mounted map, and we'll take a look at that as well. Um, so first thing you get is one die. Do, 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 do. One six-sided die. Is that all you need to play the game is one six-sided die. All right, six, hey, there we go. I don't usually roll that well. If that's well, it may not be well. Anyway, so you start out with the rules of play. Good news, it's on the uh, wonderful matte finish uh, stock that they used to use. Whatever uh, they used to, they did a switch to the uh, glossy stuff and it seems to have uh, been outvoted because um, their newer printings are back to, the, to this quality stock. Uh, so we got our rule book. It's a 32 page rule book complete with an index. It is full color. Um, Looking at this, uh, optional rules go on to page 23. So we got about 22 pages of rules. And then you got two scenarios, avalanche, campaign game, hints, design notes, order of battle, so on and so forth. So you got about eight pages of, uh, of notes and then about 22 pages of rules. So as usual, you start out with the, uh, the component list. Uh, describing the terms, so on and so forth, and then just the various rules. Now, even though this is part of a system, this has its own rules. It's not like there's a system rule book and then the exceptions rule book. This is just, you just have to get this one. They stand alone. So that's, that's nice. But if you have familiarity with other games in the system, you probably understand how a lot of it basically works. I have yet to play any of these. I have Normandy 44. I'm looking forward to playing. So, not very, not very dense. I mean, there's a lot of text, but it's pretty large print. Uh, I, I do like that it's, you know, got paragraph numbers, things like that, so it can refer back to itself. Um, so, like I said, it's medium complexity. So there's the scenarios. Uh, Avalanche is scenario 1.1 and it is excuse me scenario one and it says it's eight turns it doesn't estimate how long it takes uh the campaign game is uh oddly it's base. it says it's the same same setup and scenario data so it's the same length um so I'm sure there's a difference to it here's design notes and then Sample of play that you can follow along with and see what other people have done or what they, and see how things play out to understand rules. So you get that rule book, you get the paper map here, and we are not going to open this yet. This is a thicker, it is a thicker paper, right? But uh, we will uh, we'll take a look at the map a little shortly. And then we've got the setup for the campaign game and avalanche scenario. So you got it. I assume this is the no, this is the axis and this is the allies. And then we've got two copies of our CRT and player player guide. This is the uh, both of these on that great GMT, you know, coded cardstock, full color. You get two copies of this. We have the sequence of play, the CRT, different tables that you're going to need, 
uh, terrain effects, so on and so forth. Get two of those. And then just one sheet of counters. That's great. It's not counter dense. Uh, these look to be 5 sixteenths, uh, 5 sixteenths, uh, 5 eighths inch counters, possibly 9 sixteenths. Um, they are the kind you'll have to kind of trim out of the sprue, and you probably want to use the Oregon Laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder to clean them up nicely. Um, but other than that, you got your troops, your Axis and Allies, troops, markers, all in a single counter sheet. Pretty cool. So let's take a look at the map. We're going to look at the um, mounted map upgrade. It comes in a separate bag. And uh, take that out and take a look at it real quick. All right, so now we're going to look at the, this is the mounted version of this Lerna 43 map. Um, as I mentioned, it's it's uh, smaller. It's only a six panel uh, map, so smaller than some of the uh, the other uh, war game style maps that are usually like an eight panel. So it folds pretty easily. Six panels. Uh, you got uh, tracking tracking charts here on the side. Eliminated box. Turn record track. September first, or excuse me, September 9th to September thirtieth. Got your sequence of play tracker. Your map key. And then here is the Italian coastline. It's very nice. It's not, uh, a lot of their maps have been a linen kind of finish, you know, kind of, this is more of a smooth, it's very, very smooth finish on top. So, uh, it's kind of nice, your counters will slide along very nicely. This would be very clear. So then these are your, obviously your victory point locations that you're trying to take. So I guess the further you get inland. So, all right. So we are going to put this away and recap everything you get in the box. Okay, so if you pick up a copy of Salerno 43 from GMT Games, you're going to get a uh, paper map to go with the game. The uh, mounted map is a separate upgrade, but then you'll get one sheet of uh, counters, two copies of the player reference charts, a copy for the allies, copy for the axis of the setup, and a 32-page rules of play book. One die. There's my one. And a small box. And that is everything that comes in. Salerno 43, designed by Mark Simonich and produced by GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!